Hey, I just want to talk about Proverbs one twenty nine, and um, I still want to go over Proverbs. I'm trying, so I think that I'm going to have some time now, and hopefully be doing some recordings. But anyways, Proverbs one twenty nine. I think that I went over Proverbs, you know, one a lot, and anyway, I don't always remember things that I've said or that I've that I've discovered before or whatever. And I'm sure this is talked about in lots of books and everything. I may have talked about it before. I don't know. But anyways, Proverbs 129 says, For they, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. It's verses like this that destroy Calvinism because it's talking about the wicked saying that they did not choose the fear of the Lord, meaning that they had a choice. They had free will. And, you know, Calvinists will try to turn around and say, well, they didn't choose the fear of the Lord because, um, you know, they were reprobate, and, and so therefore they'll always choose uh, the wrong thing to do necessarily I guess um, and that's just stupid you know saying that God created reprobates uh, people who have no choice and no free will you know and basically uh, nobody has a free will and I was thinking that's like saying that the sky did not choose to be red today and you say like well the sky you know isn't a person or whatever it doesn't make choices and then I'm like aha exactly like, it doesn't make choices. And, you know, and you're like, well, that's just foolish. That's just kind of like a stupid statement. Like, what's the point of saying that? You know, but that's what Calvinism is. They they have to work so... Uh, you know, work so much around verses like this that just plainly state it. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. It was their choice, and they rejected the fear of the Lord. So, I mean, that one verse destroys Calvinism. God bless.